Hi, today I'm going to show you a strategy that will teach you how to round numbers up or round numbers down. Technically, we don't we say we round numbers down, but we don't really round them down. We they sort of stay the same. So we have a four step process to show you how to round numbers. And the same applies whether it's a number in the tens, hundreds or all the way to a million. Doesn't change at all. So let's start by using using some easy numbers, small numbers. Let's say our number is 364. I need to round it to the nearest hundred. First thing I want to do is underline what's in the hundreds place. What's in the hundreds place? Ones, tens and hundreds. Next thing, notice this, rat's tail. Whatever your underlined number is, draw a rat's tail from there to the next number and that's a 6. Now what I need to decide is, does the 3 stay the same or does it go up? Well, how would I know? Let's look over here. If the rat's tail goes to 0, 1, 2, 3 or 4, which is kind of like the smaller numbers, it's, they stay, the underlined number stays the same. Okay, and they're kind of like the smaller numbers and they're in red. So that means stop, don't go up. But if the number is, the rat's tail goes to a 5, a 6, a 7, 8 or 9, then the underlying number goes up. So let's look for this number here. It's a 6 and I see a 6 right here. So which means my underlying number has to go up. So the 3 goes up and becomes a what? 3, 4. It becomes a 4. And all the numbers on this side turn to zero. So my number is 400. It's kind of like saying I have three read a book with 364 pages, which is about 400. That's where it comes in handy where you have to round numbers. That was rounding to a th nearest hundred. Let's round a number to the nearest thousand now. Our number is 1518. And I'm going to round it to the nearest thousand okay let's see what's in the thousands place ones tens hundreds and thousands I underlined it now I need the rat's tail my rat's tail goes to the five I'm going to look for the five over here now now I don't see a five there it's right here there's the five in the green and it tells the underlying number to go up so the one becomes a two and everything on this side becomes zero. And my number is 2,000. So 1,518 rounded up to 2,000. Let's try a bigger number still. Why? Because our strategy is going to be the same. It just won't change. So let's try this number now. 718,419. And I'm going to round this to the nearest 100,000 hundred thousands place. Let's see. I need to underline that number. So let's see what's in the one hundred thousands place. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousand, ten thousand, hundred thousand. There we are. I underlined it. Now I need the rat's tail. The rat's tail goes to the one. Now I need to look where does one belong. There it is. Sitting right there in the red. And the red tells you to stop, don't go up. So it will stay, the 7 will stay the same, the underlying number will stay the same, and everything on that side turns to zeros. So let me turn them all to zero. And my number becomes 700,000. So let's say if your library had 718,419 books, and you wanted to tell a friend how many books there are, you might say, we have about 700,000 books, okay? Now, up till now what we've done is we have, uh, see the last place value? We've rounded it up to there. It doesn't necessarily have to be that way. Now let's look for a number, which is a bigger number, but we don't have to round it to the highest place value. That's one thing. And the other is sometimes when there's a 9, it causes a little bit of a confusion, like what am I going to do with the 9? So let's look at this number. It's 8 million. 971,416. Now, even though it goes to the millions, I'm not going to round it to the millions. That's not how it always asks. They could ask you to round this number to the nearest hundreds, to the nearest thousand, 
or to the millions of course. So we're going to round it to the nearest hundred thousand. Hundred thousand. That's just a shortened version of it. What's in the hundred thousands place? One tens hundred thousand ten thousand hundred thousand. It's right there. Need my rat's tail. Rat's tail goes to the seven here. Now let's see what does the seven tell the nine to do. When I look over here for a seven, it's right here in the green, in the bigger numbers. That means the nine, the underlined number, has to go up. Now think about it. If the nine was to go up, what would it become? A ten. Could you possibly have a ten and then an eight and then everything else? No, that would be wrong. You never write ten, two digits in one place. So what are you going to do? When that happens, here's what you want to do. You want to look at the, this, the 9, the underlined number, and then the number bigger than this, the bigger place value, as a whole number. Think of it as 89. 89 is going to go up and become what? 90. Okay? So I'll write 90 over here, and everything else on this side turns to donuts. So there we go. And it got rounded to 9 million. Okay, now you understand how we do it. Watch the video over and over again till you get these four parts down. That's the strategy that will help you in your quizzes, in assessments, in tests, any kind of worksheet you might have, and it'll stay in your head because of the rat tail strategy. Okay, so now you could stop this, give yourself some numbers, and practice rounding.